This is how I create a bar chart in group. Like for example, the names are grouped in terms of quarters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's learn. The first thing I have to do is to insert helper column between each of your original data set. And I'm going to call this H1 for helper column 1, H2 for helper column 2, H3 for helper column 3, and this one here, I'm going to call it H4 for helper column number 4 here. Once that's done, you're going to try to find the maximum in your data set using a max column open parenthesis and then hold on your control key and left click and drag the column q1 q2 q3 and q4 the comma will be inserted in between each of the column close parenthesis and multiply that by 1.14 so there's a gap between each of the stack bar chart hit enter and you'll find the maximum value in your data set multiplied by 1.14 in order to find the helper column number one, basically what you have to do is you take this, press F4 to make both column and row fix for the maximum value, minus the adjacent value, which is Q1. And after that, copy the same formula across every of the helper column like this. Once that's done, place a cursor anywhere in your data set, press Ctrl A to select your data set, and then go to insert a 2D stack bar chart like this. While selecting your bar chart here, Go to chart design, switch, row and column and it should look something like that. Now resize and reposition your chart. Once that's done, go ahead and fill up all the helper column bar chart with white. Once that's done, go ahead and delete the vertical grid lines and then delete the helper legends, all of them, and delete the x-axis and the chart title. Now select any of these bar chart here and press Ctrl 1 to open up the format data series. And the gap width, we're going to assign for my data set to be about 60 so that it looks nice like this. And after that, go ahead and add the data labels for all the bar charts. As you can see, some of the data labels, you can't really see it. Let's change the font color to white for all the data labels. Next, we'll get rid of the borders. Select the chart, Control 1 on your keyboard and no borders. And then select the bar chart and let's give each of these bar chart a shadow. Go to Effects and give them a shadow. And job is complete.